Okay guys, I am going to do a tutorial on making some of the memorial jewelry that I do. Um, I'm going to make some sort of keychain. I'm not sure if I'm going to use bubble beads on these or if I'm just going to do a chain. I need to talk to the girl that I'm doing the order for. Um, but I am going to work on that. So I use Lumio resin. I get it off of Amazon. I usually buy the 1,000 grams just because it is cheaper to buy it in the bigger bottle. I've got some polyester tape, which I have a little piece cut here, so I'm going to set this down on there and push it down to make sure it's set best I can. And hopefully it doesn't leak too much with the resin. And then with the... Uh, Flowers, I only have three little flowers, so I don't know what all I am going to make. I am possibly going to use these gold and silver flake mix is what it's called. It is from the jewelry shop at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm going to use my go-to white glitter. It's called White Out. Um, I usually get this from NOLA Craft Culture, but I think currently they are out, and they've been out for quite some time now. But this is one of my favorite whites which I'm super low on. Um, I'm gonna add this into some UV resin, which I already have in here. But like I was saying with the white out, it's a wonderful white glitter and it's very opaque usually when I use it. So it doesn't take too many coats to get anything coated. I absolutely love it, so I hope that they'll get it back again soon. Mix a bit more in there. Sorry about not doing a video last time I was off, but my craft room in my main house that I use for all my resin work is still in total disarray because I have no floors yet in it. And ever since the hurricane, it's actually quite difficult to find people to do work right now. So I'm going to come put the resin in. I'm going to coat the bottom. I don't want to fill everything because I still need area to work with the flowers. So I'm going to spread it. And then if I don't like how much it covers, I can always go sprinkle a little bit of glitter right on top of the resin just to get it a bit darker and more opaque. And I'm just going to kind of spread it to where it touches the edges all over. So it looks like it's touching all the corners. So I'm going to hit it with my lighter. Hot pink bubbles that are in it. Oh. My heater just kicked on. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this under my UV lamp and then I will be right back. All right, so the resin's glue um, cured. So now I'm gonna take my flowers. I put a little bit of resin into the design. And then I'll start kind of breaking off pieces of the flower to where I can use them and put them where 
I want in to the butterfly mold. And then lots of times I'll do multiple layers. some of the darker and unfortunately I don't have too many flowers and they are super small so I won't be able to do a whole lot with them See if I can get some darker areas with it too. Then I just constantly play with it, see if it's anything I like. And I don't remember if I said where I got the little cabochons from, but I did get that off of Amazon. It came in a pack of them. Let's see if I can get some of these little flakes in there. some depth here. So I have never used these flakes before, so this will actually be a first, and then I will end up curing it again in just a minute. And then seeing what else I think it needs. So that's what I have so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this and then I'll end up adding another layer with the resin and the flowers. So I'll be right back once it's cured. All right, so that's cured. So I'm gonna add some more resin and I'm gonna do another layer. And then if you do end up torching at all, just be real careful because of your flowers. I'm doing is trying to break some pieces off here to kind of fill in some of the areas.
Just gonna add a little more of those flakes. See if I can add a little bit darker to this area right here. Yep. Yeah, I think I like that. All right. So that's what it looks like so far. I don't like this big chunk here though. Let's see if I can get this down at the bottom. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that again. Alright, so this is cured, so I am going to go ahead and add the top coat of resin to kind of dome it. And then still, you want to be careful if you do torch it not to catch your flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this and then I will be right back. Alright, so that's cured. So I'm going to come peel it off the back here. And then I have had before where this polyester tape has left like, um, I guess some of the residue behind and it's very easy to brush off if you have to. You just kind of peel it off. but. That's what I have. And honestly, so I know I was debating whether I was going to do um, bubblegum beads or regular, but um, my problem kind of got resolved, decided for me, I guess, because I can't find my bubblegum beads right now. So I think I am just going to do just a regular old keychain since I don't know where my beads are currently. Um... And I'm going to throw a little tassel on, especially since I don't have my beads. So that's that. And then I'm going to put my little tassel up here. So that is that little design. So that's dried flowers that were from, um, that the girl brought me. So I pressed them. Just make sure that if you do use your flowers in your resin that they're dried very well. Um, so yeah, so it's probably been about five weeks that I had them drying. So that's one design. 
So hope y'all enjoyed. Catch y'all later.